As to the question of work, do you believe that work is inherently hierarchical? No. That is another great quarrel I had with Marxism. Frederick Marx emphasized that there would always have to be a realm of necessity. Somebody would have to do the dirty work, be it coal mining, cleaning up the garbage, blah, 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 blah. And that for him, freedom began when you left your job. <laughs> you see? When you left your job, then you would remove your overalls or you remove your work clothing and get into your nice, how shall we put it, free clothing colorful clothing and live <clears throat> in the realm of freedom. Now bit by bit I began to object to that. I began to see how it could be possible with new technologies and with an entirely new atmosphere even in factories to make more work more pleasant and more playful and how machinery could begin to replace the most onerous types of work which con constituted Marx's realm of necessity. I shifted more and more over, almost unknowingly, to Fourier, Charles Fourier, the great French utopian. More and more unknowingly to the idea that the realm of necessity could be colonized by the realm of freedom. That play could be brought into work. <clears throat> and I had many dramatic examples of that. My mother, who came, was born in Russia, had seen peasants harvesting. And the way they did that was with a sense of joy. They brought vodka with them, they brought food with them, and they turned harvesting into a picnic. This was in a pre-industrial society. And I wondered, why couldn't we extend this whole phenomenon to the experience as a whole, the whole work experience? In other words, turn work into something that is much more playful, much more joyous, much more self-expressive. The whole, the whole work experience. In other words, turn work into something that is much more playful, much more joyous, much more self-expressive.